So here we have the Hyundai i10 on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot, you can see that we've got plenty of boot space given the size of the car, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase that space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's where we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, followed by the speedometer, and on the right-hand side, the coolant temperature gauge and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles of this car, which are 4,047. The information displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel for various different bits of trip computer information, eventually back around to the beginning again. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. And on the right-hand side, cruise control, speed limiter, and the buttons I was using a moment ago to change the uh, fuel economy and trip computer information. Over in the center, we have the radio for the car. So you can see that we've got DAB radio. This car's also got FM and AM as well. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You hit that button, nothing's connected at the moment. You can listen to it via an auxiliary input, USB input. Uh, so plenty of ways to listen to your music overall. Uh, you pair your phone by hitting that button and then using the numbers here to either cancel or pair new phone. Working our way down, we have the air conditioning. So we've got the fan speed and temperature here, the direction of the air over on the right hand side. When you're happy with these settings, that button will turn the air conditioning on or off again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you set here or you can bring in fresh air from outside of the car otherwise. Underneath that, you have a 12 volt charging socket, auxiliary and USB inputs that I mentioned a moment ago. And then finally, a five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.